All right, so I'm going to show you uh, how to create the first um, infographic, uh, which is uh, a donut chart of the presidential race for the Electoral College and the popular vote. So you log into Flourish, uh, you create a new visualization, uh, you scroll through the templates and select donut, and I'll show you what this looks like. Uh, and then you'll be in something that'll look like this. Okay, so there'll be some default data here. Um, and this is the place to kind of uh, to start. So the first thing you're going to do is just replace what's ever there um, with the following. So you're going to have um, in row two, Joseph Biden, row three, Donald Trump, and row four is still to be counted or called. Uh, in column B, you're going to have the Electoral College will be your label, uh, 260, 260, and 18. Uh, because that adds up to 538, uh, which is uh, the number of electoral votes. And we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, column C will be popular vote. And just put in 60 million, 60 million, uh, and 5 million. These are all just default um, things you're going to put in for now. And then we'll come back and update those uh, after the election. Um, so you, you go in into your... When you go into um, Flourish, you kind of toggle between your data and your preview. And this is a way to add something to your data and then see what it's going to look like. So this will be your visualization. Um, so when you go in here, replace whatever's there with uh, the data that I've given you in the, in the instructions. Uh, and then the next thing to do is look to the right of that data uh, where it says select columns to visualize. All right, so over here. Um, and what this does is it ties your data to the visualization. So you want the labels to be column A, right? So our labels will be the two candidates or if the votes are undecided. And then the values, which are the things that are in the middle of the visualization, will be columns B and C, all right? Uh, so you go ahead and you switch those, and that should get your, um, at least you to get the shape here of your um, of your donuts all right um, from there you're just modifying the um, the look of the visualization and you do that with the menu on the right uh, so the first one you want to open up is chart type and you'll have uh, there's a button here that says single chart or grid of charts uh, if you click grid of charts that's what's going to give you uh, two of them so again you just go in there all right, the next one is the colors. Uh, and the way these open is you click on the little um, triangle and these menus open. Uh, so the next, you go down to colors uh, and you'll have a color scheme. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste um, the code that I gave you here. So it says, you know, Joseph Biden and it has this number. Donald Trump, it has this number. Still to be counted, it has this number. What these are, are HTML color codes. So they're colors um, for web pages. Uh, and the way you find them is you can use this. Uh, so you, you move this around, you get different colors, and this has a corresponding, um, it's called a hex color. Uh, and this is what changes the color of your presentation. So you're just going to copy and paste. I've already done that for you. You're just going to copy and paste those into the color overrides and then custom overrides, and then once you close that, it should change the color of your um, presentation. Um, and then you're gonna go down uh, and put in a header. This is where you get the title. So just put in 2020 US presidential election results. Um, and then below that, you'll see a subtitle, and just write to be updated November 3rd, 2020. And that's going to give you these things up here. All right, so <clears throat> uh, that's basically what you do. Um, just to explain this a little bit. So the Electoral College, each state uh, gets a certain number of electors. We'll look at that later in a map. And then um, that's how the president is chosen. It's, it's basically, uh, we don't have one big election. We have 50 elections in each state. And whoever wins that state gets those uh, electoral votes. And you have to get over 278 to win the election. 
So again, these are just fake numbers until, to hold the place until, um, until the election results come in. All right. Um, what we're looking at here on the right is the popular vote, which is the number of people who voted. So, uh, so we put in, I just put in default info for 60 million for each. Uh, and then I put in 5 million for still to be counted. My guess is this election is going to take a while. Uh, and if you remember back to 2016, uh, Donald Trump won the election because he won the Electoral College. Uh, but Hillary Clinton actually got more total votes than Donald Trump, uh, even though she lost the election. So what, this is what this chart is going to do. It's going to, it's going to show you these two things at once so that uh, your viewers can see uh, how that works out. So when you're done, uh, what you're going to do is hit export and publish. Uh, you'll go through a couple steps um, to make it public. And this URL right here, not the embed code, this URL, you're going to copy and paste this and save it. And that's what you're going to submit to Canvas um, to show that you're, you've, you've done this. Um, shouldn't take long. Um, and uh, your chart should look exactly like mine. Good luck.